Hello, everybody. This is uh, GTA 6 Day, and I'm Andrew Tate. You want to become a real man? You don't want to be a cuck like Review Tech USA? Make sure to join Hustler University. I'll teach you how to use Amazon links to make affiliate money and work for a large corporation so you could break through the matrix by working for a large corporation. <laughs> Did I mention this guy's a trafficker too? Allegedly. And he's trying to preach morality about GTA 6. I just, here's a bird. Let's go news. Skip it up and that up. Got links below in the description to my music channel and to my live stream channel. I live stream on almost a daily basis and I upload bangers. Links to both channels below in the description. Go check them out. Anyway, so Andrew Tate, uh, he was a kickboxer. He's a man with muscles. He is a true alpha male who likes putting up pictures of himself playing chess. He's NP. I don't even like people. He has Hustler University, and there are a bunch of people who see this guy, and he's like trying to teach misguided young dudes on how to be a man. Do not follow this guy on how to be a man. I'm not saying follow me on how to be a man, but he sure as shit is not the person to follow. Well, of course, because it's wildly popular and People who even don't play video games have to have takes on things uh, to grift. And GTA 6 is, the trailer is huge. It's already surpassed how many views the GTA 5 trailer has had in the 48 hours it's been out. Let's go. The Tate brothers on their show on Rumble had a take. And it's stupid. And it makes no sense. Especially coming from the Tate brothers. You know, the, the pinnacles of morality. Anyway, this is the clip that they were talking about GTA 6 in. Take a look, then we'll discuss. New GTA 6 is out. Have you ever played any GTA? This is a genuine question. I've never played any of them. I believe that I played the first one. That's like a top-down, bird's-eye view, kind of 2D game without any real graphic violence back when I was maybe 10 or 11 or 12, when, whenever it came out. I, re I do recall that. But you know what? I'm going to speak about GTA 6 while, while you're on the topic, because now we're actually talking about something that's relatively important. Video games aren't necessarily evil. But, you know, I remember when video games, because I'm very old, I'm an old man. I remember when you used to play a little man in a red hat trying to rescue a princess and teaming up with your brother. Now, if rescuing purity from evil while teaming up for your brother isn't a good theme of a video game, that I don't really know what is. I'm not a fan of anyone under the age of 18, 21 maybe, playing video games where the goal is to shoot police officers. I just don't think that's good for society. With all the amazing graphics and engines and whatever people put into these video games, I feel like you could create a better objective with the game, you know? Maybe you are the police officer. Maybe you are trying to stop... <coughs> Sorry, Karen. Criminals. And... <laughs> Sorry. Okay. No, no, it's all right, carry on. I just had a cough. I'm not talking to you. No, just carry on. Well, keep in mind, as uh, Tristan Tate is, again, trying to be the pinnacle of morality by saying how bad GTA 6 is going to be and what it's teaching our children, even though the game is not made for children, it's made for adults. Uh, his brother has done some banger uh immoral things before in the past uh this one for is the first one that comes to mind i remember seeing this this is from businessinsider.com uh, there are whatsapp messages to a woman that andrew tate was dating where he says i loved r wording you use your imagination I'll continue here. This comes again from insider.com. A series of messages were released by Vice World News on a while ago that appeared to show the influencer and ex-kickboxer Andrew Tate boasting about R-wording women. The text and voice messages released by the outlet come a day after Tate failed to secure his release from Romanian jail in the middle of a trafficking investigation into him and his brother. According to Vice's reporting, Taint sent a woman who accused him of R in 2013, threatening messages after the incident, including ones where he said he enjoyed it. So now him and his brother are sitting there being the moral police saying that GTA 6 is is what what we're, we need to save the children. 
By the way, I enjoyed doing horrible things to you when I dated you. I... Again, it's the same thing that ties into the other videos today, and this is why I wanted to make all of these videos. Not just because it's about GTA 6 and it's free real estate, yes, that is true too, but do you see what I'm saying with the evidence that I've shown you in all three of these videos? Whether it be, I forgot his name already, Jackson Hinkle, see, he, I'm sure he knew that was a mod for GTA 5. I'm sure he did, but he wanted to do the outrage bait, so people talked about him, and it worked. Same with Ian Miles Chung and Elon Musk. Not that he necessarily needs the money, but he knows he's grifting to the right wing because he's trying to accumulate that on his platform, so he got in on it. And now you got the Tate brothers there. Guys that were in jail for alleged trafficking who... Andrew Tate is known to treat women terribly, trying to tell you what is moral and what is not moral. You are immoral for wanting to play a video game in a fictional world where you can essentially kill anyone you want to in a video game. You kill people in plenty of video games, but because it's GTA 6, it's a GTA game, and a lot of people are talking about it, now all of a sudden they have something to say, and what they have to say is stupid. If you still believe in these people after I have proven them wrong and countless other people have proven them wrong, I'm sorry, you're an idiot. If you see that they, they are putting out misinformation purposely, let's just keep it real, and you're like, nah, man, I, I, I even though they're lying, I like their lies, you're dumb and you're sad and you live in a fantasy world. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. This is Richard Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one. Stop listening to these clowns and think for yourself, please. What's up is down, what's left is right. Chasing stars and holding view. I can't see the end, but we'll see it through.